Over $1 million is wagered each year across the United States in the bird dog circuit. Wars are waged in each region on who can bag their birds faster than the next guy. Today, it's semifinals day, and everything is on the line. If he can win the world championship, he'll make our day. Well, it's do or die time for me this weekend. I got to get her done and keep those points going and try to win this thing. These competitors must place their dogs at the top in this event or go home empty handed. If I go home with nothing, then we're back to square one and it'll be a race to the end. Right here. I feel like it's my time. We're in Meriden, Kansas at the Bird Dog Circuit World Championships. Last week, we watched as many of the teams made it through to the finals, a 50-point super major event. These players need these points to guarantee a spot in the top dog of the year runoff at season's end. Hey, Steiny, I just ran the same field you did, and we beat your time. Take that. <laughs> I have to do good at Worlds. If I don't, my dog of the year race is done. Needing to get multiple dogs qualified to the finals, the Lecker Vaughn team are feeling very confident with their situation. So much went right for us today. We have four out of the eight dogs in the finals in the top gun, three out of the seven in the, in the doubles. We couldn't have scripted this any better. Jerry's not on his game right now. You know, not, not like he normally is. If we could pick a dog to win, it's hands down, it's coming out of our trailer. Jerry Brost has just one dog in with Desi, but isn't worried. I'd be a little embarrassed by not making it to the finals, but that's just the way it is. I got beaten. I load up and go home. The Sharks are circling on Jerry Brost. And this would be the time now when he's shaky and we're on top of our game right now to humble him out right now and let him know that there's other players here that can do the same thing he's been doing. Earlier this season, we saw Mike Vaughn get qualified to the world finals with his dog, Journey. But we left with Jerry in the blind with Rosalie. He needs a good run now to have both Desi and Rosalie in the finals. I don't try to make big plans. I know I'm gonna work the field, I know I'm gonna work the win, but I don't make big plans because I'll tell you what, you can go out in this field and you're dealing with birds and you're dealing with a dog. And mother nature with all the elements that we have here, and everything's gonna change. So sometimes some of these people that make big plans when they're going out, it's just a waste of time and it's a waste of energy. Hold. You got killer instinct in the dog. Yeah. It has to have that in it. It has to have that part of it to start. It has to have the drive for that. It doesn't matter if it's a duck, a pheasant, or a chucker. It doesn't really matter. They have to have that drive for it. I look at a field differently, I manage my field differently. There's little things I do in my mind that I think separate me. I think about things differently. Um, I've been told hey. I'm different, I'm good with that. Hey! Competitors don't have to beat every dog in their field to advance to the next round. They just have to beat the dogs in their bracket. Only in the finals do you have to beat all the dogs qualified to win the event. You don't have to be the fastest in this group. You gotta be two out of the five. That's what you gotta be. You gotta come out with five birds in some group. Spence. Jerry desperately needs to find his birds with Rosalie, or he'll only have one dog in the finals with Desi. You know, you can think you can get out there and you can kill four birds in a hurry, and you can spend the rest of the day looking for that fifth. That's just the way it goes once in a while. You put it in your head that you think you got her, 
You're just guessing wrong, man. You gotta hunt every bird, one bird at a time. It was not the run they anticipated. Jerry goes full time with Black Lab Rosalie, and she does not make it to the finals. Bird Dog Wars is presented by Electronic Shooters Protection, providing shooters with state-of-the-art electronic hearing protection since 1994. Loyal Dog Food, with grain-free choices at an agricultural store near you. Garmin, dog tracking, training systems, and the Verb Action Camera. CZ USA, protect, hunt, compete. And Dogs Unlimited and Thunderstick Lodge. We're back at the BDC World Championships. Jerry Brost has only one dog in the finals with Desi, but is feeling very confident they will win. She was last year's world's winner in the single. So uh, she got to carry the title for a year and we'll see if she gets to carry it again for another year. Bernie and Puckett are in and RJ Tooney made it in with Blaze. Two things that I wanna do, get my dog in the right spot and win. Steinbach is in with Bella and Ralphie. Good dogs, good players. It's gonna be a tough battle. In the qualifying rounds, as many as 16 dogs will compete in a field per day. But dogs are divided into four to five dog brackets, running every 15 minutes behind each other. The object is to be the top scoring dog out of your four to five dog bracket. Competitors don't have to beat every dog in their field to advance to the next round. They just have to beat the dogs in their bracket. Only in the finals do you have to beat all the dogs qualified to win the event. We open today's semifinals action with Scott LaPlante from Elk River, Minnesota. Scott has endured extreme pain since we last saw him. Two weeks ago we had his dad uh, was feeling ill and uh, kept bringing him, talking to the vet a couple times and Thursday night was there for about three hours and we figured out he, was, um, he had uh, cancer. So, took him home that night, camped out with him, and then took him back the next day and said goodbye. Earlier this season, we watched Lincoln compete at the Trigger Time Major event. Beating over 50 dogs, he made it to the finals. Old Lincoln was seven and a half, so yeah, it was a sad day. That was my wife's dog. Uh, we had to put him down a week ago today, so this is a big one. <laughs> And during a heart-wrenching situation, he enters okay. this run with a heavy heart. The entire BDC family is rooting for him to succeed. While Scott runs his German pointer, Abe, let's move to the flusher division where Jeff Foster and his Labrador retriever, Jet, wait in the blind. When he's on, he's on. Just sometimes as a puppy, he still has times when he doesn't trust himself. I know to start, I need a clean run, period. Five birds, clean run. And then after that, I'll worry about my time. Fetch, fetch. Here, yeah. Jet starts out strong. I would definitely am aiming to beat that eight minute run because then I'll put me in first place with a better chance of not getting bumped out. Fetch! Oh, I have confidence in him. I've ran him in enough tournaments. Jet makes an unbelievable retrieve on what looked like a missed bird. If I go home with nothing, then we're back to square one, and it'll be a race to the end. Jeff and Jet will not make it into the finals today, as they needed just a little faster time to advance. In the bird dog circuit, birds are released in zones called front, middle, and back. Dogs must locate the birds. Hunters must harvest each bird with one clean shot or suffer an added penalty to their score. The teams with the best score and the fastest time advance to the next round. 
When we come back, we'll find out if Scott LaPlante and Abe make it into the finals. Be sure to get your Bird Dog Wars apparel at dogsunlimited.com slash birddogwars. Now, back to the action. Come on, bud. There is a special bond between man and dog, a great love and admiration for their Wait. incredible effort. Fetch it, bud. Come on, come on. Here, more, more, here, here, here. Here, here, here. I'm not going to go out there to beat anybody. I'm going to do the best I can and see what happens. Two weeks ago, we had his dad uh, was feeling ill, and we figured out he had uh, cancer. Uh, we had to put him down a week ago today, so this is a big one. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Doesn't retrieve quite so well yet, but he's getting there. Um, you got to get him past that, uh, that last 10, 10 feet. <laughs> he likes to sit there and uh, be two years old. Fetch it, bud! Fetch it, buddy! Fetch it, buddy! Here, buddy, come on, bud, come on! Here, here, come on, baby! Come on, baby! Come on, baby! Fetch it, please! Abe, come! Come! Time. Sheepers, creepers. It looks like a little more training for Abe, and he'll make his papa proud. Stay, whoa. You know something? Two-year-old puppy? Just Probably about his, maybe his fifth event. <laughs> so I'm not going to complain too much about that. In the bird dog circuit, competitors from across the country compete with their dogs. Many drive thousands of miles to be here. It's two days and a half to get here. All day. <laughs> it's a long time. That's a long drive. I hope I get five birds in a hurry. <laughs> here, here, here. This dog can do it too. Okay, let's go. Point! Making that long trip, it appears Cleo is having a blast and a great time with his dogs. I've been doing this quite a while. I've been having a lot of fun doing it. I'm 75 years old and I'm still going. <laughs> Right here. Time. With that, here. Whoa, they whoa, make whoa, it whoa. into the finals. Whoa. Waiting in the blind is Don Duell with his wire-haired pointer, Chigger. I just want to get along with everybody, and if I go have a nice run, that's great. And if it's good enough, great. If it's not, still great. She's just a pup, basically. She's two years old, I still consider her a pup. And when she's on, she's on, and when she's off, she's off. So we'll see. They're really intelligent dogs, and they most of them have really good noses. They can do about whatever you want them to. Sometimes some things you don't want them to do. Right here, Chick. Chick, right here, right here. Whoa. All right, let's go. I can't go on a wild bird hunt. My son spent all last week in the grouse woods, but you know, your knees get bad and stuff, and then you can't go. So. But you can still do this. You're competitors, but you're also buddies, you know. You wish them well, to a certain extent. <laughs> Although they had a nice time and a fun run, Don Duell and Chigger won't advance to the finals today. When we come back, it's Boomer Busboom and Decker with the last semifinals run of competition. Bird Dog Wars is presented by Electronic Shooters Protection, Loyal Dog Food, Garmin, CZ USA, and Dogs Unlimited and Thunderstick Lodge. 
Welcome back to the BDC World Championships. With semifinals day almost in the books and many competitors having good days, many competitors fell just short. Now, with our last run of the day, it's Boomer Bus Boom and Decker. Boomer failed to get Patch into the finals, but has one more opportunity with his dog, Decker. I have to do good at Worlds. Decker, brand new pup. He's, he's coming on strong. I don't know if he's able to do it or yet or not, but we're gonna find out. Point. Whoa. A great start for Boomer. I just watched Ron Rick's run and he either got only two or three birds possibly is all he got. So he's my competitor Whoa. in region five. Yeah, I wouldn't think I have a target on my back. Like I said, there's probably only one guy that really, really wants it. Yeah, I want to beat him. I want to beat him. Just bad as he wants to beat me. Come here. Drop it. Whoa. Whoa. One more bird, and Decker will make it to the finals. Point! It is the most exhilarating feeling you can get, even if it's not an excellent run, just a good average run. When everything goes clean, there's no problems, it's a good day. Whoa! Safety, safety, safety! Whoa, Decker, come here! Come! Come! Time! Whoa! Five birds clean. He got all his retrieves. He struggled on one of them, finding a bird that fell in some, gotcha. kind of some thick stuff, but he rooted around in there and brought her out. Boomer and Decker finish with a good run. They are the best dog in their bracket and advance to the finals. While competitors are happy to have a good run in their bracket, many competitors here are locked up in heated dog of the year battles. The World Championships is a BDC Super Major event, which means big points for the winner and the top five placements. <laughs> With semifinals day in the books, let's take a look at the runoff finalists for this year's World Championship. We just watched as Decker and Boomer made it to the finals. He's been running good since the day I got him. Third place would get me enough points to, I think, almost catch Ron Ricks in the Region 5 points race. Last week, we watched Hi. Bernie and Puckett make it in, but Bernie also made it in with his other dog, Russell. He'll have two good looks with two good dogs in. RJ Tooney and Blaze move on to the finals, as does Craig Steinbach with Bella and Jack Himes' dog, Ralphie. He is uh, Region 3 leading, um, leading the points race over there, and uh, um, the owner, Jack Himes, puts a lot of time and a lot of effort into him. Um, Ralphie, you know, he spends a lot of time on the road with me, and he's a good dog. I'm excited as all get out. Yeah. Worked all week long, and uh, moved up through the ranks. Some damn tough dogs I had to beat, and we did our job. We got there. Even though Scott LaPlante didn't make it into the finals with his puppy Abe, he did get to the finals with his other dog, Scout. Since we lost our number one dog last week to cancer, this guy is now our number one guy in the box. And traveling 1,600 miles from California, Cleo Anthony has punched his ticket in with two dogs going to the finals. I've been having a lot of fun doing it. I'm 75 years old, and I'm still going. <laughs> On the flusher side, the team of Jeff Lecker and Mike Vaughn have qualified four dogs into the finals, doing just what they hoped for. It's not about Jerry anymore, it's about me now. I just control my emotions and win this thing. Ron Beisman is in with Reggie. To, to win this, especially with this extreme bunch of talented hunters and dogs, it would be the best. I mean, it, it don't get no better than this. We really need a little luck here. I mean, there's no doubt about it. And Lauren Erickson is in with Ace. It's been a pretty tough competition. Um, dog's been doing very well, so he's been finding his birds. I can't ask for more than that. Mike Pyle moves into the finals with Stone. So he has one dog qualified in both the flushing and the pointing divisions. We got Stone, she's a little old. She's 
nine years old, but hopefully she'll get me right where I need to be and hopefully win this darn thing. And finally, the Dominator, Jerry Brost, has just one dog qualified with Desi, but is very much motivated to win. Just another tournament today, but today is payday. Uh, all week's been play day, it's been getting to this point. Some points in the qualifying for this, you had to play smart. Uh, today you gotta go. I don't come to play for a second, I'm coming to win. Let's go. Stay tuned next week as we move into finals action at the BDC World Championships. The winners receive big points toward Dog of the Year, which can be a game changer come season's end. Who will win the trophy? Who will win the points? And who goes home empty-handed? All that and more next week on Bird Dog Wars. <laughs>